Hello, welcome learners and welcome viewers to this presentation where we look at uh, angles associated with parallel lines. Okay, this is the second lesson that I'm presenting under angles and uh, it's particularly meant for the grade 8 and 9, those that are preparing for the grade 9 exam. It is very important, even for a person who is in grade 10, 11 and 12, uh, when you look at topics like a uh, circle theorem, it borrows some of the concepts from this topic. So you would get to have some challenges if you did not uh, understand the topic fully in your junior grade. So it's very important that we pay particular attention as we begin to look at the uh, angles associated with the, the parallel lines. Now, we are going to concentrate, all right? We are going to deal with uh, the corresponding angles, alternate angles, as well as allied angles. I think these are the angles that we are going to, 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 to talk about in relation to the parallel lines. So I want us to pay particular attention. I want us to follow, because this concept, just like I already alluded to that, from time to time in mathematics, okay, we'll have to apply them. So you really have to, this, I take it that this is the first time we are presenting this topic. Because in grade 7, only basics were introduced to us about angles. Okay, so let's start with um, um, what is here. We are saying A, B, okay, A, B, and C, D are parallel. Okay. Then N, P. This is N and P here. Is a transversal. Is a transversal. When you have got two parallel lines, this and this one. Then there's a line that cuts them like this. This line we call it a transversal. Alright? Take note of that. So, now we come to what are corresponding angles, okay? So, I've given an example here to say A and E, A and E are corresponding angles. Now, what is the relationship between corresponding angles? Or what is the relationship of corresponding angles? Corresponding angles are equal. Corresponding angles are equal. So what are we saying? We are saying A. A is e corresponding to E. So meaning this angle A is equal to angle E. If this is 130 degrees, that will mean even this angle here is 130 degrees. Take note of that. This one is right on top of the parallel line. Even this one is right on top of the parallel line. And now you can read through. You can also identify other pairs of what? Uh, corresponding angles B is a corresponding angle to F so B is equal to F C is corresponding angle to what? G here D is a corresponding angle to what? to um, H okay and I'm sure if you have we are coming from the first lesson we also talked about vertically opposite angles this angle and this one, they are vertically opposite angles. This and that are vertically opposite angles. And I'm sure you know what we mentioned about the vertically opposite angles, that they are equal. So it's also very important to carry on that uh, concept. Okay? In other words, all the concepts that we, we talked about in there. Angles on a straight line, uh, angles at the center, all those things we must uh, come with them. Okay? So if I can uh, still... Uh, talk more about the the alternate I mean the corresponding angles we can have this line is parallel to this one even if we have another one here once we have this transversal here okay this which 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 um, we can even have another one here and if also these two lines are parallel, take note of that. If also these are parallel, 
these are corresponding angles here. These are corresponding angles. Meaning, this angle, if it, this is 60, this one is also 60, this is also 60. Okay? Then when we begin to talk about these ones here, this is corresponding to this one. It's corresponding to this one. Alright? You have to take note of that one. Meaning these are also what? Equal. I want you to pay particular attention to that. I want you to pay particular attention to that about the corresponding angles. Very important. Very, very important. Okay? Now, let's say we have, here is our parallel line. Here is another parallel line. Then the transversal is like this. Can you identify the corresponding angles here? This angle is corresponding to which one? This one. This angle here. Okay, this angle here is corresponding to this one. Okay, please take note of that. That is very important. You don't have to calculate anything. If this has been given as 58, then they are asking you to find the value of six, uh, x here. You say x is equals to 58. Why? They are corresponding angles. And corresponding angles are equal. Very important. All right? Very, very important. So that is what I can say about the corresponding angles and take note of that. Take note of that. Take note of that. Okay. Take note of that. Um, then we come to alternate angles. We have also given an example of E, C and E, F. C and F are alternate angles. C and F are alternate angles. And what are we saying about alternate angles? Alternate angles are equal. Alternate angles are equal. All right. So see, see what we have here. I want you to see what we have here. Okay. That is very important. So the alternate angles here, we are saying C is equal to what? To F. So if F is E, 51. I mean, if C is 51, then even this one is what? 51. These are alternate angles here. These are alternate angles. And we have given more there. Alright? We have given more. So, what are we saying? If you have got a uh, parallel line, another parallel line, then you've got a transversal here. This angle here, alternate we come within these two parallel lines within these two parallel lines one is on this side of the transversal the other will be here these two angles are equal these two angles are equal why they are alternate angles if we were talking about this this is equal to this one the alternate angles take note of that if you have this case these two lines are parallel. Then you have a transversal here. This angle is alternate to this one. Hence, they are equal. This angle is alternate to this one. Hence, they are equal. They are, they, 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 when dealing with the parallel lines, then there is a transversal. Both of them are within these parallel lines, except that one is going to be on this side of the transversal. The other will be on the other side. Okay. You have to take note of that. And now, um, this, if you can read further there, okay? If you can read further there, we also said, uh, okay, there's D is equals to E, okay? D is equals to this one. We talked about this one. Then there's A and H. A and H. These are alternate what? These are alternate angles. These are alternate angles. Then there's also B here and uh, G. There's also B and G. And you have to know that um, if you can go back to what we were looking at yesterday, I mean, in the previous lesson, we talked about vertically opposite angles. If I can drive you to that. We talked about vertically opposite angles. Now, if you remember... We said vertically opposite, this is how we do it. Vertically opposite angles. This B and C are vertically opposite angles. And then we said vertically opposite angles. 
are equal. So meaning B and C are equal. Then when we come to C and F, what did we say? They are alternate what? They are alternate angles. They are alternate angles. And again, when you look at F and G, what are these? These are vertically what? These are vertically opposite angles. So it goes to tell us that 1, 2, 3, 4, these angles are equal. Okay? And if you can also, you should be able to remember that. We equally say that the angles on a straight line are supplementary. Supplementary angles are those two angles also that add up to 180 degrees. So take note of that one also. Take note of that one. We have two parallel lines. They could be like this. There should be arrows to show you that these are parallel lines. Don't assume. Don't use an assumption. No. Then we have the transversal. This is the alternate to this one. Take note of that. You have parallel lines here. This is parallel to this one. Then we have this one. This angle is equal to this one. Why? The alternate angles. Don't forget about what? The corresponding angles. Don't forget about corresponding angles. We keep on, we build on what we have already discussed. Even in the previous lesson, there are those concepts that we dealt with. We are building on. Okay? We are building on. So, having said that, we need to go to the allied angles. What are allied angles? Okay? What are allied angles? So, Two angles on the same side of the transversal within the parallel lines are called allied angles. Two, you have got a parallel line here, another parallel line here, the arrows must be indicated, then you have a transversal. What are allied angles? The allied angles are these angles that are on the same side of the transversal. If you have the parallel lines like this, then we have a transversal like this. This and this one. These are the ones that we are calling what? Allied angles. Take note of that. You have got the parallel lines here. I draw, okay? This and this one. These are what we call allied angles. Take note of that. So what are we talking about allied angles? We are saying angles which lie on the same side of the transversal within two parallels within two parallels those are what we call allied angles and what are they what is the relationship they are supplementary they are supplementary supplementary what is this they add up to 180 degrees that is what it means when we add those two angles they should give us what um they should give us uh, 180. Again, you should be able to know why is it so. Why is it so? Okay? Why is it so? If we can go back to what we are talking about. We say this angle and this one. They are what? They are equal. Why? They are alternate angles. So what does, it, what does this give us? This gives us two angles on a straight line. And we said angles that lie on the straight line. Are also what supplementary so what have you seen so take note of that that is where these concepts are coming from we're just building on things that we have already been talking about i hope you are you're getting the concept i hope you are getting the concept so now we need to look at uh, the examples we need to look at the examples all right we need to look at the examples need to look at the examples so are you able to see the examples on the uh, on the other board here are you able to see the examples on the other board okay so take note now let me Show you the examples that we are talking about. The examples that we are talking about are here. Okay. These are the examples that we are dealing with. So we are saying, 
find the angles marked with letters find the angles marked with letters if you want you can pause the video then you try to work them out find the angles marked with letters you can pause the video then you try them out we are actually applying these uh concepts that we are dealing with here okay if you want you can even apply what we we dealt with the, in the previous lesson because some of them you can so the angles marked with what letters for instance x here okay for instance if we are dealing with x this x what please i did advise that you can pause the video then you try to go through the uh the questions then later on you compare we you know we are human we are susceptible to errors so it's very important that you work them out then later on we get to compare what we're going to get all right um so now let's deal with x let's deal with x so what is the relationship here how do we find x i'm not going to waste time if you look at these two lines are parallel here these two lines are parallel and this is what we were talking about already that we have this case isn't it you're given this is x and this is what 120. So what are we supposed to do in order to find x? We said these two are allied angles. Allied angles, we said they are supplementary. So we say they add up to 180 degrees. So to get the value of um, to get the value of this is what we're going to do. And x is going to do what? 60 degrees x is going to be equals to 60 degrees x is going to be equals to 60 degrees then when we go to z or if you want we can come to either z or y now for, for y what did we say y fifth and this one what did we say these are alternate what these are alternate angles so if this is 58 even this one here must be 58 so y is equals to 58 take note of that then for z for z we can say ah x and z x and z are corresponding angles okay you have this line this one they are like this this angle and this one here they are corresponding angles and we said corresponding angles are equal so this is also going to be 60 if this is 60 that is one way the other way if you want you can say these two angles here they are angles on a straight line here so when you add them they should give you 180 when you subtract this one from 180 it will take you back to 60 okay next 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 We have this question here how do we find this one so this one we just have to make sure that we use the concept that we we discussed in the previous lesson where we said these two angles are angles that are they are on the same line i mean they are on the same they are on a straight line so x and 2x are angles on a straight line and we said angles on a straight line are supplementary which is it 180 so we're going to say 2x plus x should give us 180 degrees this is going to give us 360 then we say 180 degrees so x is going to give us what 180 divided by 3 what do we get okay that is what we are going to get so meaning this is the, the actual angle here is going to be 2 multiplied by x this one is so again it takes us to the same thing those concepts that we were discussing if x is a 60 then y is also 60 okay if you remember and this angle here This angle here, which is 2x, which other angle is 2x? This angle here is also 2x. 
And what happens to this angle which is Z? These are vertically opposite angles. So meaning, this angle is alternate to this one. In other words, this is the same as 2x, which is 120. Or if you want, you can say, since I found that x is equals to 60, then by this angle and this one being corresponding, it means that y is also 60 degrees. And what are you going to do to find z? You can use the straight line method also, where you subtract, it will give you the same thing, or what I just discussed or mentioned. What I, what I just mentioned here. Okay. So we can go to the third one. We can go to the third one. I hope you are able to see it there. Is it clear? Is it clear? The third one is this one. This is what? 4x. This is 5x. Find the value of what? Find the value of x. Is it clear? Are you able to see? Find the value of x. So now, here what we are supposed to do is, uh, we can either say, if this angle here is 5x, what about this one? This is also what? 5x. Then what is the value of this whole angle here? This, these are angles on a straight line. Or if you want, you are going to take this one here. Because this and this one are alternate angles. Now, these are used corresponding angles. This angle and this one are alternate angles. This and this one are corresponding angles. Take note of that. Okay? Take note of that. Very important. Take note of that. So, now we can say, okay, we need to find the value of... So, it's going to be what? 4x plus 5x. This must give us what? Then this is going to give us 9x... Then x is equals to 180 divided by what? Divided by um, here, how many times? 2. That is what we are getting, isn't it? That is what we are getting. So if you want to get the actual value now, this is going to be 4 multiplied by 20. And this is going to be 5 multiplied by 20. That's all. Alright. Then um, we go to the last one. We go to the last one. Now, take look at this one. Look at this one. Okay, so I did advise that, um, okay, so take a look at that one. So what are we supposed to do there? We want to find the value of x as well as z. Um, okay, take note, this is supposed to be 60. There is a coincidence on this question. 60 is coming up in a lot of them. Uh, nevertheless, that is a coincidence. Okay. So, if this is our 60, what is the value of x? What is the value of a? Now, take note of this. Take note of this. This and this. This is 60 here, and this is what? Okay, this is x. Now, what did we say about this one? Before we even look at something else, we said these two are what? They are allied angles. These are allied angles. They are angles on the same side of a transversal. For instance, if we ignore this one. Okay, so meaning you need to subtract this one from 180. Just like I said, yes, we have been like six has been sixty has been appearing in most of the questions, but even if we had something else, the process is the same. So when you subtract, because we're saying this angle and this one are allied angles, they are angles on the same side of a transversal. If you extend this one, okay, 
Look at it in those lines also. So if this is 160 here, on the basis that these two are allied angles. And then take note that here we already have what? Um, we already have 130, 130 degrees. But we know that a complete 10 should be 360. So what is A? So we're going to say A plus um, 130 plus 120 must give us 360 degrees. So we have A plus 250. Am I right? Is equals to 360. When we add these two, do we get that? Then we say A is equal to 360 minus 250. 0, 1, 1. Okay? That is what we are supposed to have there, where we have A. Please make sure that you get in touch with us, just if there is any part that we have to make corrections, all right? If there is any part that we have to make corrections, you can get in touch with me, okay? Or my other colleague, okay? This is uh, 56, 58, 76. Mr. Piri. Okay, then this one is my line. So I'm going to give you an exercise as per our tradition. All right. Then I'll still do more lessons on the same. Okay. So here is the first one. Get this as the first one. Okay. Get this one also as the second one. Okay, please. No, ignore this one. Ignore this one that I just gave you. Let me give you another one. I meant this one, question 20. Question 20 is what I meant. Okay, get this one also as the last one. Get this one as the last one. So, angle QUV. 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 It's this one here. I'm sure you know how to. QVV. It's this angle here. Then QTV. QT. V, so it's this one here, okay. Thank you for watching.